Hi, and welcome to Issues in Focus. One of the most pressing issues we face today as a society is the sheer amount of waste that we generate sent to landfill every single day. If we're really serious about tackling climate change and global warming, we need to change that. And we need to start by doing two things. Firstly, we have to end our throwaway culture and move towards more sustainable patterns of consumption. And secondly, we need to move away from a world of manufactured obsolescence and look at how we can extend the life cycle of products, not just through reuse, but also through repair and refurbishment. Last year alone, for example, just on eBay, by selling pre-loved and refurbished items, we saved 73,000 metric tons of waste and avoided 1.6 million metric tons of carbon. The good news is we already have new laws in the UK and also at EU level, which are designed to make it easier for individuals and especially businesses to repair products. But we think they need to go further. First of all, we need to expand the range of goods to cover common electronic goods like laptops and mobile phones. And secondly, we think that for some items, it makes sense to require manufacturers to make those spare parts available for longer than the current seven to 10 years. And finally, when we're repairing items, we also need to look at using more recycled parts. For example, in France, already car repair shops have to provide consumers with a quote using green parts in addition to the regular quote using new parts. This law is already in place and being extended and we'd like to see other countries adopt that model. In short, we need to move from e-commerce to re-commerce. And that's why we're campaigning to extend the current right to repair in the EU and the UK, so that ultimately, we can build a greener, more sustainable future for our children and for generations to come. If you'd like to join our campaign, and if you want to learn more about public policy issues affecting e-commerce in Europe, please visit our website at ebaypolicy.eu. Thank you for listening.